There is a great deal of detail in the Rebels sequel rumors posted on Reddit. And one of those details, if we believe it, is that Ezra Bridger will have a new mentor in the sequel series. Now, during Star Wars Rebels, Ezra had a variety of mentors and friends. Ezra connects well with others and chooses to see the good in people, just like Luke Skywalker was able to see the good in his father when no one else could. But Ezra's ability to connect with others and grow friendships is what allowed him ultimately to save Lothal at the end of Rebels Season 4. He was able to ask his many friends for help, and because of the connection, Connections he's built with them, they were willing to give him that help. Ezra was also pulled in many different directions by various mentors. Obviously, Kanan Jarrus had the most influence on Ezra and probably had the most positive influence. That said, Ezra was also mentored in a big way by Hera, Ahsoka, Rex, Hondo, and even the sinister Maul. So Ezra has certainly had a variety of influences, but let's move on now to the actual rumors on Ezra. Ezra's new mentor, it is rumored, is part of the Rakata species. In fact, he's the last known member of the species, though that didn't turn out to be true in the case of Zeb. Now, according to Wikipedia, the Rakata species, also known as the Builders, were a humanoid species that with distinctive amphibian features. They were a technologically advanced race that developed early in the galactic history, even developing some early hyperdrive technology. Long-term use of the dark side of the Force corrupted their society and turned them into a race of merciless warriors. The Rakata used their potent force-powered technologies to conquer and enslave every other species they came across throughout the known galaxy. During the reign of their empire, they were characterized by their cruelty, savagery, and arrogance. They were known to strip entire planets of their resources, terraform worlds to fit their own shifting needs, to kill entire slave workforces, and to eat and defile the bodies of slain enemies and even members of their own species. So this species sounds horrible to say the least, and basically sounds like a barbaric earlier version of the Empire. So the fact that this individual, a Rakata, is going to be the mentor to Ezra Bridger certainly seems strange in a good way. He is described as morally grey, which again will make for an interesting relationship with Ezra. I mean, will Ezra find his way in this rumored conflict with the Gris, with the Chiss and Thrawn wanting to use his force powers as a weapon, and his Rakata survivor probably encouraging him to tap into the dark side of the force? Things don't look so good for Ezra. Although, no doubt, if he does stray into the dark side, Ahsoka and Sabine will set him straight once they find him. But the potential here for storytelling is amazing, seeing Ezra falling to the dark side and perhaps Ahsoka sensing that while she is trying to track him down. This could make for a very suspenseful story. One that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Of course, it could all be totally false and just a totally made up rumor. But getting back to the details of the rumor, it also suggested that the Rakata is a powerful, force-sensitive warrior who was once a cruel tyrant when the Rakata Empire was at its height. So I love the fact that we're going to be learning more about the Force in this Rakata species, but the big question I have here is how exactly does Ezra meet this new mentor? I mean, would Thrawn have him around, or does Ezra and Thrawn meet him on their journey back to the Chiss Empire? And what sort of force powers is he going to have? There's certainly a lot that could be delved into this character, into this species, a lot that could be learned by Ezra from this individual. So despite the fact that this is a rumor, I really like it. I also really like the fact that he's described in the rumor as a redemption-seeking Aztec amphibian god king with a cool Irish accent. A very strange and typical Star Wars cultural combination. So it's very interesting that this mentor to Ezra will be looking for redemption. I mean, what sort of redemption is he looking for? Well, I'd have to lean towards the idea that this character wants to redeem himself in this new conflict against the Grisk. He wants to use his force powers for good and save the galaxy instead of conquer it. But exactly the methods he's going to use to do that could be very interesting. It could really come into conflict with the teachings that Ezra has had previously by Kanan, Hera, and even Yoda's words of it's most important in how the Jedi choose to fight. And there's also the fact that this character reminds me a little bit of Hondo. He's got those grey morals, he's going to be some comic relief with that accent by the sounds of things but he's also going to be very powerful, sort of like Maul. There are just a lot of similar beats between this rumor and the actual Star Wars Rebels series, which honestly make me feel like it's a legit rumor. 
But moving on, Ezra will no doubt be influenced by Thrawn himself, though I can't see Ezra ever truly becoming friends with Thrawn and actually seeing him as a mentor. Eli Vanto could also be an interesting friend and mentor to Ezra in this new series. He could be somebody that could teach Ezra about Thrawn's history and many of the amazing things that he's done. He could introduce Ezra to a lot of the strategy that Thrawn has taught him. So I certainly hope to see Eli and Ezra come together at some point in this series. Whether this rumor is true or false, seeing those two together would be absolutely great. But what do you think about these rumors and speculation? Please remember it is just rumors. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.